Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, especially the faithful of St. Anthony's Parish in San Gabriel, and happy 10th Wednesday of Ordinary Time. So good teachers have this ability of not just dumping a ton of information on their students, but they teach them little by little, one step at a time, one lesson builds upon the other. And God is a good teacher. Right? He doesn't just dump it all on us at one time. Instead, he, he teaches us little by little. He guides us one little lesson, building upon the other. And so this is really the story of salvation history. Right? After the fall of man, God then has to teach man little by little, one step at a time, one lesson building upon the other, how to love him again. So this is a great story of our reconciliation with God. And now Jesus comes to continue this process, this reconciliation. And really, it's going to be in Christ that this is all fulfilled and definitively achieved. So in the gospel today, Jesus says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Once again, Jesus sees himself in continuity with that which has become which that which has come before him. So think of the Old Testament. Think of Moses on the mountain receiving the law, and then he gives the law to the people. Now we have Jesus. Remember, this passage comes from the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus on the mountain is now teaching the new law, the new way, the Beatitudes, and all that flow from them uh, to the people. So Jesus is a teacher. He teaches us like God and as God, little by little, one step at a time, with continuity with that which has come before. And so in this, there's a great lesson for us that we are called to be teachers as well. Keep in mind the last words of the gospel today. He says, whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. This is really an invitation, I would say a command, that we go and do likewise. But brothers and sisters, as we seek to teach others, First, it's important that we obey the teaching for ourselves, right? So whoever obeys and teaches. So in order to be an effective teacher, you yourself have to be conformed to that which you're teaching. In this case, the commandments and the laws of God. So first, you have to have buy-in, right? You have to believe, you have to obey for yourself. And your example is really going to pave the way for the teaching that you then seek to impart to others. Second, when it comes time to teach... Um, then it's really important that we imitate and mirror this, this way of, of the Lord, this kind of divine way, uh, little by little, one step at a time, one lesson building upon the other. It's really easy, especially for people who are kind of on fire about the faith. You just kind of dump things on people, but you're not really invested in them and their conversion, right? This process of sanctification which takes time. It, it, it blossoms like a flower. And so we have to accompany them along this way, little by little, one step at a time, helping them to grow, right? Pentecost Sunday, we recently celebrated. And one of my favorite saints has sort of a spiritual interpretation of that moment when the apostles start speaking in tongues, right? The Holy Spirit comes down upon them, flames, and now they're speaking in different languages. And he says, well, what this is, is, is this ability that the apostles had by the power of the Holy Spirit to speak in the language that others needed to hear in order to receive the good news of the gospel. And so for us, it's like, well, each person's different. We need to speak to each person uh, in the way that they can hear according to their capacity to hear little by little, one step at a time. There's no cookie cutter, you know, formula for teaching the faith. There's no cookie cutter. This is the way it's got to be or else. Instead, it's allowing the Holy Spirit to inspire us that we might speak in tongues, that is, in a language and in a way that others can understand. And it's going to be little by little, one step at a time, one lesson building upon another. And so, brothers and sisters, let's go to Mary asking her to help us that we can truly obey the commandments and then teach them in the way, the divine way, 